it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today I am in, not my house, I am in Lisa Schwartz's house. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes. Me casa es su casa. Oh my God, we're like in the valley. <laughs> so we've been talking like this all day. We have had a full blown valley girl day. It was great. We got lunch, we got drinks, we went shopping, which is what this video is about. So if you guys have seen the other collabs we did together, we basically order clothes online, the exact same outfits, but in our respective sizes and compare like the fit, our personal taste, the quality, everything like that. But today we're taking that idea and kind of flipping it on its head a little bit because we actually went in store to pick out Ooh, the matching outfits. Girl, we left the house. Yes, we, I know, <laughs> who are we? So I asked you guys on Instagram where you would want to see us go and by far the most requested one was Madewell, which I'm shocked but elated by. Oh yeah, I, I love Madewell. It's one of my favorite stores, but I actually don't shop there that often because it is pretty pricey. I can't go in there that often because I always walk out and I'm like, was this yellow button front kind of like smock dress. Yes. I always pick a button front dress and it never works. You know what? I love the idea of button front dresses, but sometimes they're just not as great in practice. Yeah, I gotta stop doing that for us. So this dress was $85. I am trying it on in an extra large and Lisa is trying it on in an extra, extra small. Okay, how do you feel? <laughs> um, I like really like this color a lot. Yeah. It's too long on me. Like See? it's just too, like I feel like I'm wearing like a, old lady sleep night shirt that's what it is <laughs> and i think part of it is like the little like peasant blouse-esque shoulders yeah. it's very like old woman nighty <laughs> on me i feel like the main issue is it's so shapeless it's like really doing nothing for my figure i think this is interesting because i feel like you think you should have more fabric to cover things yeah but really it's more flattering if it's tighter even if you have curves yeah like i would prefer honestly i would prefer this as a bodycon dress and i don't really yeah. like bodycon dresses yeah. i like the color on you though and thank I like you the detailing of the buttons it's just like not quite right it's yeah i think for you it's the length like you said i think for both of us it's the sleeves and then for me it's like the shapelessness of the just length on you is pretty good. i actually prefer this length because then i feel like I could wear biker shorts or something and not have to worry about my chub rub, be a little more protected. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be a no for me. Yeah, it's a no too, but, but almost. almost, almost. So this one was interesting because in real life, I really didn't like it, but then yeah. looking at it on camera, it looks better on camera. I know, I felt like when I was filming you, I was like, oh, that looks cute on you. But then in the mirror, I was like, nope, no, yeah. it does not. <laughs> it was way too long, I thought. Like, the proportions are weird. The problem there is, like, they make petite and some stuff for us short gals, but they don't usually carry it in store. Yeah, so you'd have to order it online. It was also tough because it was just a little bit shapeless, which for me, I really like having structure. So, like, I could have belted this dress, but then it, there were still things that made it not perfect, like the sleeves, like the length, the, sleeves, the material yeah. was really thick. It just wasn't quite right. Yeah. And for that price point, that's the thing about Madewell, like their prices are so high that it better fit perfect. Yeah, I don't buy things at Madewell unless I'm like gonna wear it every day. So this one was an L, no for Lisa Big too. No. So let's see the next one. So the next outfit was my pick. I went with these vintage straight jeans. I got them for myself in a size 32 and for Lisa in a 24. These were $98 and I had high hopes because they looked so cute, but as soon as we put them on, like. For me, I couldn't get them over my thighs. We both were like, whoa! And then I kind of gave up. Lisa persevered and pulled them up. I pushed through, I pushed through. They look super cute. I actually like, really like them. I'm just very uncomfortable. And it's tight in here too. Yeah, and they, I felt like when I put them on, they really flattened my butt. Like I couldn't even, get, I couldn't even zip them. At least you could zip them. I mean, I can't breathe. Yeah. So the associate said that they're supposed to stretch out a full size. So I feel like if they really do, it'd be worth kind of trying to shimmy them up and then let them stretch. But that's like a hard sell to be like, they will fit, but you have to wear them three times. Especially when they're a hundred dollars. Yeah. Like I just want them to fit perfectly. So I actually went out and grabbed a different pair and they're a pair of jeans that I already have and am obsessed with. If you 
you guys saw the video where I let the person in front of me choose my outfits. Love that. This was a pair of jeans from that video. So I didn't even pick them, but I'm obsessed. They're the classic straight jean. And so we did these jeans instead in a 24 and a 32. These were also $98. And then these striped like button up dad shirts, which I, I can't go a single video she without. She loved the dad, dad shirt. shirt. All so day, great. every day. But this one was so expensive. It was $69.50. I can't. Ugh. And so I tried it on an extra large. Lisa, an extra, extra small. Let's see it. They're so great, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> At first I thought they were pirate pants, but now I'm like into it. Okay, okay. We have this striped shirt that's actually really long on both yeah, of us. I'll show you, it's crazy. Yeah. This is an extra small and it's still very, very long. But I, this is how I wear this kind of like dad shirt look is I always tie it and I think it's so cute. And then these pants are so high-waisted, they literally hit above your belly button. I'm like, those are cute on you. Thank you. I, I mean, like I said, I already own these, so. <laughs> They're so comfy. They're high-waisted, which sometimes I feel like high-waisted jeans dig into your stomach. You know, when you sit down, these don't do that. They're like, oh no, I'm gonna have to get them. I know, they're so good. They're kind of expensive. I think they're $98. Yeah, but if you like compared to the other one. Yeah, like the butt looks good. Better. I actually like the raw edge on the ankle too. I wore these with heels for my podcast photo shoot. By the way, guys, out now, Sierra Unfiltered, check it out. <laughs> but um, I wore these with heels for the podcast photo shoot and it looked so bomb. Yeah. Okay, but what, so you like the jeans? Yeah, I actually really like them a lot. They look so cute on you. Yeah, they feel good. I'm, I could take or leave it Yeah, off. I feel like this is the kind of shirt that you could get at like American Eagle for half the price. It would fit the same. There's not really that much special about it, but the jeans, these are a special pair of jeans. <laughs> they are special, girl. So I already knew I was obsessed with these jeans and I wanted to see if you liked them too. So good. They fit perfect. Oh my gosh. And they're so comfy. They're so flattering. Super, super. I mean, uh, here I go again. It's just a love letter to the jeans. <laughs> if you bring in an old pair of jeans yeah. that are full length, mm -hmm. right? They can't be like ripped off. And they can't be jeggings. And they can't be jeggings. But like a regular pair of jeans, you can trade them in and get $20 off a pair of new jeans from Madewell. Which I feel like the difference between $100 jeans and $80 jeans, obviously still expensive, but that's like a 20% off discount. That's huge. I'm totally gonna do that. She said she'll honor it. Like, yeah. cause I ended up buying the pair of jeans today and like, I can just go back and flip it. So, yeah. Thank you Madewell for the best jeans ever. The shirt though, how did you feel about the shirt? Um, For me, it was like way too long. Even mm -hmm. though we tied it up, it was like, just too much material and for that price point. Yeah, for me, there was just nothing special about it. Like the quality wasn't particularly fantastic. The design wasn't like phenomenal. It was just a normal button up shirt and it was $70. So. Yeah, nah, nah. The next one was Lisa's pick. So we had this little denim button up skirt. We tried this on in a double zero for Lisa and a 14 for me and it was $79.50. And then you also picked this crochet top which I thought was so freaking cute. So 60s like mod, uh, like I just loved it. And it felt really, really nice. So as soon as I saw this, I was excited to try it. So you got an extra small, I got an extra large. And this top was $59.50, which first of all, like pricing wise, why is this cheaper? than like the button up dad shirt. It makes no sense. It's kind of all over the place. I mean, it's still all very expensive, but right. like, uh, whatever. Uh, I wanted to twerk so bad. I know, it's a cute idea. It's yeah. very like kind of 60s retro. I actually think it looks really cute on you. The sizings are a little off, like the skirt's a little too small for me and this is too long and too bulky. I feel like the sizing at Madewell, what surprised me so far, sizing is really inconsistent. Super inconsistent. It's not just like really big or really small and you can like adjust for that, but like this skirt is running like a size small for both of us. Like for me, the button's pulling. For Lisa, what are your problems? It's with tight the on the waist. On the waist. Yeah. See, for me, the waist is fine, but the buttons pull down the middle. And then the top is a little big. The top is also <laughs> long. All the shirts here are long. Long, yeah. But the, I really like the silhouette of this with like the, the button and front skirt. Pockets. We love yeah, pockets. pockets. I love the like design of the top, that kind of like knitted crocheted look. So cute. I actually think this would look cute with jeans. Like, oh, like, yeah. Combine. See, I think you should like wear this outfit, like the silhouette, this style, but with a different skirt that's maybe a little bit thicker. Cause the other issue that we were talking about other than sizing was this would show sweat. Like, oh, and it's so hot here. Like at the minute you start crotch sweating. It's gonna, it's all over. <laughs> I think my main issues are, um, I don't like the cut of the top because it shows my bra strap. So I'd have to go strapless and yeah. I don't like going strapless. Uh, we tried. We tried. <sighs> The sizing is, I think, the hardest thing for me because it's not just everything's small or everything's big. It's like 
so up and down. I agree, I was like really kind of upset that it was like so tight around for me, my waist. For yeah. you, it was like the button part. Yeah, the waist was totally fine. It was just those buttons were pulling anytime I moved a little bit. But it had pockets. It had pockets. <laughs> so that means, you know, of course we're gonna buy anything with pockets. I'm just kidding, we didn't buy it. I can't believe this skirt was $80 because the material felt like Forever 21 quality. I was just gonna say like, we might as well just go to Forever 21 and get yeah. that. Like the thing about Madewell is like, you have to find like these beautiful pieces that are actually made well to justify <laughs> and like something like that you could just like get wherever yeah i thought the crochet top was beautiful loved ended up getting it yes, she did. Getting and i'm it. glad you did because yeah. it was so cute it was so detailed my only issue with that is i just don't like things that cut in a lot because i'm someone who likes to wear like a full strapped bra i get that but it looked so cute on you so it didn't pair it. well with that skirt though they that's what they had shown in the store together but i feel like it was like the wrong two materials, but it, whatever. It looks cute together on a hanger, but on a body, it's very different. Correct. So then we have my pick. I wanted to do a pair of soft shorts, so I found these like plaid yellow shorts, and they were only $29.50, which I feel like is pretty good for Madewell shorts. We'll find out why later. <laughs> but I also grabbed a plain white t-shirt. Madewell Basics are some of my favorite. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with them. You introduced me to them today. They're so good. So in the shirt, you had an extra small. No, you had an extra, extra small. I had an extra large. And then in the shorts, extra small, extra large. Enjoy. Now I may have accidentally chosen us a pajama outfit. <laughs> Thank you. So are they pajamas? Pajamas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it is a cute pajama I mean, outfit. We should have a PJ party. It's so cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like my main issue with these, regardless of if they're shorts or pajamas, they're see-through. They're very see-through. I'm wearing black underwear and you can <laughs> you can see that right now. Or you just have a very, very hairy <laughs> part. Like, One or the other, who's gonna know? <laughs> so here's what's confusing to me. I got these on the sale rack next to a bunch of other soft shorts. So how, and they're not marked as pajamas. No. So how are you supposed to know? They're pretty see-through and yeah. they're not like. They're not great. No. Like the fit, the fit's okay. They fit my legs fine. They're like a little tight in like the stomach area, but eh. the shirt though, I just yeah. love Madewell's white tees. Do like, you have this? I own Madewell plain tees in like four colors because they are perfect for layering. Is it 29? I think, yeah, I think it's about 29. Is a lot, but I guess like if you're gonna wear it all the time. And they last, they're really high quality. Yeah. So I feel like the shirt, you know, if I didn't already have one, I would get it. But the shorts, it's like, I, I would rather just get pajamas at Target. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> wow, well, you really messed that one I up. can't believe I chose see-through pajama shorts <laughs> as an outfit. Like, this makes me feel better because I always make terrible outfit mistakes for us. So like, I was like really excited when this happened. I, but I like that we learned a nice little shopping life hack always wear like obnoxiously colored either like black or like hot pink underwear when you go shopping because you'll learn if things are see-through or it, not that is brilliant i, I usually wear that. nude because i'm like oh we're shooting so i want to make sure but it's yeah. like no, no. you want to know <laughs> it's funny because the item that i actually ended up buying from this video was just the plain white t-shirt like of all the cute things we tried like i like the plain white t-shirt the best it's a good plain white t-shirt yeah it's just once you find a good basic and they're hard to find you gotta just hold on to it it fit like perfectly actually yeah. now i regret not getting it well you can always go back you can always go back so the next outfit was Lisa's pick, and she picked this white dress, which looked so cute on the hanger. Ugh. I usually don't pick things that are shapeless, but I do think this was like a beautiful dress. I knew we were taking a risk because of the shapeless thing, but it was on sale and like love a sale. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it was $49.99, which for Madewell is a really, really good sale. Especially for a long dress, yep. like a midi dress. And you were wearing a small, I was wearing a large, so let's see it. <sighs> I want it to work. I know, me too. It's all, it's just, like, I'm trying to think, like, because the print is so cute. I mean, it doesn't show up as much on camera, but it's this nice kind of, like, different colored, like, what would you even call it, like, threading? Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's really cute, but it just... We look like sister wives. <laughs> yeah, and it's see-through. Again, with the see-through, you can oh, see my black yeah. underwear. Oh, I love it. So, I, like, really like this. I was, just I was trying to think if, if I, like, belted it and gave it more shape, but still, it's, like, just the three different tiers of fabric. I know, and when I picked it out, I was like, this isn't gonna work, but I wanted it too so bad. You, were, you knew, you were like, I don't know if this is gonna work, it probably won't, but like, let's give it a shot. If it had pockets. <laughs> I struggle with dresses like this in general because when it's just shapeless, because my chest is the biggest part of my body. Everything pops It off. hangs off. Yeah. And so it just, it makes me look like I'm swimming in the dress. This one actually isn't as bad as I thought in terms of that, 
but I would need to belt it. But for me, it's just beyond saving. I love you and I wanted you to work. <laughs> just not quite. Yeah. Give it off, send it off. It doesn't spark joy. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to like it so I know. bad. It just felt like we were wearing like nightgowns from like the 19, like whatever, like way back in the day. I know. So. And it was so see through. Like it was so yeah. sheer. No wonder it was on sale. Yeah, seriously. I, we're looking at that like we found like some sort of steel. And yeah. We're like, look what I found. We did it. It's like, nope. A lot of people yeah. probably tried this on and came to the same conclusion. Correct. <laughs> Although I think we, that was the moment like I made the discovery that I do think, even though Madewell's pretty inclusive, mm -hmm. um, I do think like their clothes are kind of designed for very tall, slim women. Yeah. I mean, I think they're trying to branch out a little bit, but still everything is made for that base body type for them, which is like tall and slender, which for like a short curvy girl, is kind of the opposite of what Brutal. I did. Brutal. And then we had my pick. I went with this denim jumpsuit that was $145. Oh. I didn't look at the price tag when I picked it. I would... I, I I mean, we're not gonna spoil it for you, but like, even if it fits like a glove, I don't think I can. I just couldn't, especially like jeans, I could stomach spending more because you're wearing those every day, but you're not yes. gonna wear the same jumpsuit every day. You are not. So I tried this on in a 14, Lisa tried it on in a two, and uh, let's take a look. Okay, so this jumpsuit was my pick, but I actually think it looks pretty terrible on me and amazing on you. I don't, I don't like Really? I like, feel bad saying it. No, but it's doing everything for your figure. Like well, the waist nice. definition, the hips, the It's so hippie on me. Like it's it is. so and also I'm not a huge fan of this like straight, straight across. across. I'm not either. I, I like a sweetheart, a sweetheart neck. Sweetheart. <gasps> Look at us. It's little, a lot more flattering. We're sweethearts. Yeah, like, oh, it's just such sweetheart. <laughs> for the price. Yeah. The length is good though. So on me it's like a capri, and then on you it's like a perfect length. Yeah. Which is nice. Which is nice, but also like the sizing here. Like yeah. Oh, should we talk about the zipper? <laughs> so I don't know if it's the way this jumpsuit fits my body or if it's this specific like jumpsuit. If I got another one in a size 14, if this was just like defective, but this zipper, every time you zip it up, it falls right back down. But also now look at mine. It's starting. To oh, it's doing the same thing. It's starting to come down a little bit. It's not as bad, but do you, oh, it, oh, the second I touch it, it yeah. like, it's just, that's so weird. I think this looked amazing on you. I thank you. That's very. It really nice. did. I thought it like it worked for your style. It worked for your figure. Like I think it really, really looked cute on you. I just it wasn't like uh, we were talking about. Like I like the sweetheart top better than the straight across, and like it was pretty hippie on me. And like then we have the zipper issue. Oh my god, what was up with the zipper? First of all, I thought maybe it was just like mine was defective, or it was because like my hips are wider or my stomach is bigger. But then it started doing it on you too. For that much cash, you can't like spring for a nice zipper. Like, come on. <laughs> or clasp up top. Yeah, yeah, there was no clasp. It was just the zipper. And as soon as I moved, it was like going down. Yeah. Which is like sexy and all, but like. But like not trying to like have my zipper go all the way down when I'm wearing a jumpsuit. <laughs> just full crack. <laughs> It's like when Regina George started like the, the bras out with like the holes in the shirt. Yes. It's like me starting like showing a little bit of your butt crack. Oh my God. I'm all here. Look out for it at Coachella next year. <laughs> but like a legitimate critique, I, I didn't like the way it hugged my stomach. And I same, I really I thought it was me. so interesting that you thought the same thing. Yeah. I thought on you, I was like, oh, it fits her stomach well. Like you have more room. And on me, I just didn't. I mean, but that's a problem with us and the way we like look at ourselves in the mirror. That's you know what true. I mean? Like, cause I didn't notice that on you, but that was the first thing I noticed on me. It could have been the material too. Yeah, but but it is so interesting because you looked at me and you're like, oh, it looks so good. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. It looks so good on you. Which is why I like going shopping with friends. I know we were saying that in the room. Like we probably would have given up like a long time before yeah. this. And I you can't take anything too seriously. I think that's what we learned. Like some things yeah. look better on you and some things look better on me. Like it doesn't matter what size you are. It's just finding the right Thing for you. Yeah, and I think it always comes back to that your your body is not the problem, the clothes are the problem, which is something I feel like I've been repeating so, so much lately. Mostly because I need to remember that, but hopefully it helps some of you guys too. It helped me today, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, because I think your first instinct when something doesn't fit is to be like, oh, why is my body like this? But it's like, no, 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 why are the clothes like this? So there you go. That's where we're gonna end it. Make sure that you guys go to Lisa's channel where we did the same thing but at Urban Outfitters and it was a freaking trip. But let me know what you guys like better. Like the in-store try-on or us ordering stuff online. Both are fun. This one's a little bit more traumatic, but I feel like it's a good switch.
switch. It's so true. <laughs> it is a good switch. And let us know which stores you want to see us go to next. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be confident, love your body, and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye!